What's up guys? If you saw my last video on tearing apart that KX85, you'll notice I didn't put the motor in there at all. And so that's what I'm working on today. I'll be tearing into that thing and I'm gonna bring you guys through the entire process of taking that motor down to the cases. I always start with the top end. In this case, on a two-stroke, it's super simple, so it'll only take a few minutes to pull off. And then I'll move on to the flywheel and stator. The exhaust valve assembly is sold separately from the cylinder and that's what I'm pulling off next. Here's a little tip if you have a dowel pin that's tough to get out. So I'll smush the end of it with a pair of vice grips and this will only work if you have access to the other side of the hole. So insert a bolt through the hole on the other side and as you pound on it, it'll hit the smush part and push it out. Next up is the clutch side of the engine. With the clutch cover off, here is the clutch assembly that I'll be pulling off, as well as the kickstart shaft and all the gear shift components.
Let's go ahead and split the cases now. Here's the tool I use for separating the cases. I'll show you how it works in a second. So how the splitter works is as you're tightening the center bolt here, it pushes the crank left and pulls the right crankcase to the right, therefore separating the cases apart from each other. This is what it looks like once you've split the cases. You've got the transmission shafts, the shift drum and shift forks, as well as the crankshaft. To remove the crankshaft out of the left crankcase, I'll use the crankcase splitter again. Right now, I'm just adding some products over on the website. So when you guys see this video, every part from that KX85 will be available on revivemotoparts.com. Well, that's going to be it for this KX85. I want to say thank you for all your support, and I will catch you guys later.